another episode of the 257 Collective Podcast. My name is Matthew Croker. Uh, once again, is. I'm joined by my two very best mates. It's the it's the 40th time we've come together. My two very Holy. best mates, Caitlin J. Ponger and Connor William Watson. What's going on, lads? How's it going? You know what I'm going to do straight off the bat? How are you, yeah, mate? I knew you were going to do that. How I knew are you? you? Going to do that. I'm going really well. Are I you? Am. I'm cruising. Yeah. Have a good time on holidays. Get back to training in a week. A week from today? Uh, a week from yesterday. So this is yep. recorded on Friday, get released on Tuesday. I'm going back on Thursday, so. Any any nervous sweats? A little Always bit, nervous nah, sweats, I'm but. I'm actually all right going into this one. Yeah. A bit older, a bit more experienced. I sort of don't. Happy to be I'm not too back. nervous, yeah. I'm yep. more just excited to be back. Yeah. I know what I'm doing. I know I'm there for a whole year. Yeah, looking lean too. Let's not lean. let's not neglect looking the lean. leanness. Feeling good. Yes, Feeling good. mate. You're seven foot at the moment, walking around telling people about the podcast. <laughs> mate, yeah. I, I'm just yeah. just stating yeah. facts, <laughs> factual evidentes. You got a glow about you as well. Since yeah, you Connor, up, mate. I'm gonna since just you want to bring up how people are looking. You got a glow. I'm gonna pass this and on to you, Connor. It's not the red hair shining off the light anymore. You got a different glow about you. Why an, is there orange an behind an me? Internal glo- an internal glow. You want to tell me something about that? Did that um, did look, Connor. Do with your weekend, Connor. I'd like to like to chat to you now and it's ask not, you it's not about me it's right glow, now. glow one to glow two i had a great weekend mate yeah yes i did i had a lovely weekend with a friend partner um she, partner. she come down whoa. she come down whoa. whoa no 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 i'm with it i'm with I it know. talk your shit she she come down yeah down partner now already um yeah. Don't lie, don't yeah, lie on yeah, here. Yeah. Don't lie on here. Because yeah. there are questions asked. Holy hell. Yeah. Holy the Holy investigators hell. on the, in- the Instagram. Investigators. Get, your, get your pens out. <laughs> go start <laughs> there. Get start digging. <laughs> um, They've already digged. I know they They've have. They've already dug it. Any um, questions? No, no. On your end? About that? Yeah. Um, did you ask her out? Because <laughs> you said partner. You said partner. Um, you know what I mean? Because girl, yeah, that, that's that's, what that's like da- that's, that's dating. That's what I bring you for because you you bring the heavy hidden mm. questions. Holy! I tiptoe around it, and then when I need it, I just throw it. Well, in. It's, I wouldn't have asked that, but he just said partner. Anyway, so I had a great weekend. So did I um, happen? Then that's probably why I'm happy. Actually, you know why I'm happy? Because I'm here doing this with you yeah. two. Connor, how are you, mate? About having a girlfriend, that make you happy as well. Yeah, it does. Yeah, off the market. I love it, mate. I love so, it. Anyway, <laughs> Connor, how are you? He's pointing. How was He's your pointing. weekend? How was your weekend? My it's weekend. A lot the same. Um, <laughs> I feel like I just had a, another weekend. Wednesday, Thursday, like we went. I oh, we just got back from a box. We got two more coming up this week. It's a big, it's a big week for Connor, but um, yeah. So they're calling it a box weekend, but it was a Wednesday, Thursday. Wednesday, it was really but, confusing yeah. me. So Thursday, it kind of feels no. like a Monday for me, but also a Friday at the same time. But last weekend it was lovely. Yeah, it was nice. We just get up to talk. Tell everyone. We went to the everyone wineries knows. on Friday. Went to the wineries on Friday. Beautiful out there. Beautiful. I didn't never realized how nice it is and how much i appreciated just beautiful scenery with beautiful people yeah then we went to we went to we come back on the saturday had to do a few things because i'm moving because kind of kicked me out of the house so i'm i'm moving into a new Facts. home so like, i was going to bring that up that like stole, stole my lounge three, stole my lounge yeah, 3.8 million it <laughs> took it straight from his bum so <laughs> kicked him off and actually he was still sitting on it and i carried him to the to my new home he was on the couch i stole him and the couch took it straight from his bum okay. three, 3.8 million is still <laughs> It's still yeah. less. It's still less than what Redcliffe's offering, Kalen. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, um. so true. You know why? Because it's funny. Because it's. Uh, I actually, I Dolphins. seen a post today that said, "Watson, comma Ponga's house sells for whatever it's sold for." They're it bringing him a part of the deal yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I get half that. You've got your fingers in, in all pies. these little pies. I get half that. We are going to talk about that soon, but um, just quickly, just if you could. Like you don't have to. We would appreciate if you would just like, comment, subscribe. If you, <laughs> if you enjoy the content, content. Yeah. Like If you like it and you think you don't have a good to, job, just do it. But I know you want to. It doesn't matter. I'm not telling you to do it. I'm just asking if you want to. It's all yours. The buttons are there to be pressed. <laughs> and if you, you know do, how to do it, you obviously know how to do it. Croaks might be able to get a new car and stuff soon. So, <laughs> which he needs. Oh, yeah, holy, holy, holy crap! The shop yesterday. Scrap. Fuck. Holy scrap metal. <laughs> hey, ring me. Two hundred bucks. Scrap there. metal. He I had to pay. I walked in there. more than what the car's worth. <laughs> And I was like, uh, just a service, please. Oh, sweet. I was like, oh, also, while I'm at it, something wrong with the brakes. Brakes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They make that rattling noise. Anyway, I left it with them. I was like, I'll just leave it with you all day. It's like, there's something wrong. Can you just fix it? The brakes are doing my head in. Like, sweet. Anyway, I'm with KFE, like, four or five hours later, they ring me. And they're like, oh, your car's all done. And I was like, oh, perfect, thank you. I was like, 
did they fix the brakes? <laughs> and the little like, lady on the phone, she goes, oh, no, they want to speak to you about it when you get here. <laughs> Hit me with them once. Head and noise. When I got, oh, wait, proper, hey, I was proper wigging out. KB? You were. He was scared. He was nervous. Yeah. Are no, you right? What no, you no, I, I can't hear you. Sorry for and very well on the thing. Oh, okay. Sorry. When you're, yeah. Mate, Chris, you've been hosting the podcast for long enough now. I think you'd, you'd know how to speak into the mic, wouldn't you? Yeah, exactly. Oh, wow. Connor, could you hear me? Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just a bit concerned, mate. Half the talking is listening. Yeah. Right? Like, KP, just, just open <laughs> Two ears for a reason, yeah, anyway. So I was freaking out, and I was like, oh, shit. I was like, KP, what if I get here and the bills are massive? I'm like, I'm not gonna. I was, just, I was just not gonna pay it. Mm. I was just gonna say sorry, but I'm not. I'm not doing this. Like, ended up paying bad. more. It wasn't that bad. They didn't even fix the brakes, so I'm not gonna mention the shop of who it was. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. is it roadworthy? <laughs> anyway, what we we're talking about was just like, comment, and subscribe if you could, please. Jump onto uh, Lord's Collective as we've got here. We just smacked one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do it. You do it. You got it. I just smacked one. Yeah, need a little pick me up. Feeling amazing, right? Delicious, now. easy in a can, cold, crispy. If you're looking for a little bit of a refreshment, grab one on the go. Speaking of refreshments, and actually, just holy, sorry, use the code two five seven for ten percent off at checkout. It's legit. I completely forgot about that. Kind of pulled a few strings. You can't. No. You just cannot neglect the ten percent. Oh, did you? Oh, you actually got. He that actually got yeah, the ten yeah, percent. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. I was thinking about our other ten percenters. Oh, there's a few of them. Oh, which one are you talking about? Mr. Consistency. Holy (laughs) shit. The consistent. The The consistent. It's so consistent. It's here every week. It's just every week. Please get on there. Crokes needs a new car. They live by their name. (laughs) Mr. Consistent. Consistently giving you 10% off. Mm. First order? Uh, I think uh, all orders. Oh shit! <laughs> you just like, I would be going knackered. You keep ordering, right? Yeah, and, and you they just keep use coming. Two five seven. It's yeah. that simple. The, the yeah, discounts keep, keep coming. Off. Eventually, you'll get a hundred percent off. Uh, if you keep, uh, yeah, if you order ten times, and totally, you would have got a hundred percent off and a thousand percent. So, <laughs> eventually, you'll own the company. I promise you. Boys, boys, the house sold, eh? Yes. Mm. It emotional, did. Emotional Thank the Lord. It was. It was actually sad. Stressful, Stressful for you. Stressful times. Yeah. Yeah. The the I probably was the unluckiest bloke on Beaumont Street there for a bit because there was no houses on there for sale, and, and I put mine on, up. and then all of a sudden there's six. Yeah. Mm. So, but um, yeah, Lindell did a great job. So shout out to her if you're in Newcastle looking for a good real estate agent, hit up Lindell. Yep. Yep. She's yeah. a beast. But yeah, very very sad to um to be sort of moving like Kay- like Kaylin said before he just walked in stole my lounge off me um, <laughs> then I, I got to lay I got to lay on the timber floor to watch the, <laughs> the TV and I just put my neck in an awkward position now so I've got to go get massages um, oh, not croaks not croaks yeah. massages but just normal <laughs> sport <laughs> you know what I mean <laughs> <laughs> uh, those walls could talk eh, I reckon yeah, what do you reckon yeah. the stories. best night we had in there to go on? Probably early days, early early days. We used to, for the first six months, maybe a year, we treated it like a- Party house. Party house a little bit. A little bit, yeah. That was our, because it was our first year together. Um, We settled down a lot towards the end. I don't know, we've had some crackers and through everything, like through COVID, I mean, when- the, yeah, nah, nah, <laughs> when I'm the COVID first hit, it, yeah. and even the, yeah, when we were all sit, catching up at ours, like those sort of moments were pretty cool. Early days having parties. Yeah, I, I think my favorite night, and I mean, we had a, a few crackers there, but I reckon it'd been Mad Monday last year. When we got done by the rabbits? Yeah, yeah, it was by the rabbits. <laughs> it was on the, was it the Sunday? Yeah. It was a sad trip home. It was a very sad trip home. And then you sort of get over that on the trip yeah. and you enjoy the rest of the night, day, week. Yeah, <laughs> month, month, <laughs> month. Oh, back to oh, training. Back to training. <laughs> Which is the G next week. We've been going for a little bit, but we haven't mentioned this and we always do. It's we got our fan shout out. Mm. So I met um, this girl in the Cambo and she asked if I could give a shout out to her friend, Janaya Thomas. Hey. I wanted to give another one to girl, the, everything, the, the Everything What'd Newcastle Knights page. He's a legend, the big yeah, he fella. He was, yes. The big fella. And then I got asked to give a girl named Angela a shout out. Apparently, she'd really like it from her friend. Connor? Shout out, Angela. Can, can we um, just. <laughs> Did you bring one? Yeah, yeah, I got a couple. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to talk about the girl that you met at the nah, Cambridge? No, no, no. It wasn't like that. Because actually, no, speaking like about no, girls, like right? Did you notice something on Instagram the other day? I did, mate. I did. And this is this is um and this controversial. Is because there's this been some chat about 11-11 getting around, right? 
And we love 1111, <laughs> the collective love 1111. Everyone's on board with the 1111. Everyone knows 1111. She's got a name, boys, eh? She's got well, a name. Okay, well, you're, what you're is it? Nah, nah, I'm keeping it under <laughs> Leave her as the 1111 girl. Why um, was there a comment on a Brooke Blurton's photo? Mm. Beauty. Nah, so, might he, I add. Mm. Nah, so here's, here's the thing, right? So me and him. And it went missing nah, too. Nah, nah, yeah, it's like you had something to hide. Thing, right? You were hiding thing, right? something. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here, let me t- let me speak. <laughs> me and him went on the bandwagon podcast. Your show, right? mate, your show. Yeah. We went on the bandwagon podcast and they did listen to questions like we do. And Brooke Blurton asked a question. She said, why doesn't need common beauty on my post no more? She said, I kind of miss it. So I wow. thought I'd start doing it it's again. pretty big. So I thought I'd start doing it again. That's I hectic. It. And bro. I did it once and then he's called me out for it and I felt bad in my stomach. So I stopped it. So you had something to hide from 11 11. Nah, not hide so, it. Not mm-hmm. hide it. I just realised I probably like. It. But if it's just a, probably you know, shouldn't do that. That's okay, just, uh, yeah. I love that. Then she might not get the joke, and then I'd have to explain the joke. Yeah. So, so do you want to apologise while we're on air now? <laughs> while people are listening. No, no, no. <laughs> just to be sincere, mate. It's eleven eleven. Oh, what's sincere? But I delete my comment. Yeah, just say sorry. <laughs> sorry. No, no, like no. say sorry and her name and um. <laughs> Tell her how much. It, yeah, well, like what she means to you. <laughs> yeah, what you like about her. Does hey? she mean a lot to you? Nah, she's a, she, oh, she does. She's a good girl. <laughs> she's a really cool girl. She is, yeah. Yep. She is. I'm not saying her name because when people start looking her up, just like you, the investigator. You just like the investigator. The investigator. So she's not about that, you know? She's not like, yeah. She's a little diamond in the rough, so. Don't wing at the camera. Don't wing at the camera. What okay. Um, I've got, I'm going to give my shout out. Uh, Lily Ralston. Ralston? Uh, from Just Bayman's Bay. Yourself, mate. Yeah. Just yourself. Lily, hello. <laughs> um, happy 18th birthday for last Thursday. Um, hope you had a great day. Heard you're a big fan. Um, this is a surprise shout out. So, yeah, shout out. There you go. Love it. How do you know Lily? Um, so she's related to <laughs> is he just trying to he's just trying to throw you yeah. in the dirt mate. sorry Adzi Adam <laughs> you got a she oh, related to him yeah you got a partner sure. now bro like obviously yeah Adzi the oh. co- our coach oh you know so I thought you said someone else no 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 so yeah shout out happy birthday uh, I got to give a shout out to all my mates at Joey's Bucks big big fans of the podcast especially Mitch Jacob best on ground according to him was he really according to him he was and Blake Jacob thank you for organising. Next, shout out to Jack Hetherington. I think the, I met the him. Footy out. player? Nah, I think oh, I met him. Not, out. It's not he, he. It's not him. But I think he's related to him. That's what he was <laughs> telling me the other night. He goes, he's got the exact same name as Jack Hetherington, and um, and then also last one. Sadly, we spoke about Brian yeah. on the last week's podcast and how they were sort of going through um, a fight. Uh, unfortunately, Brian passed away. So. Yeah. Just a rest in peace to Brian and mm. shout out to the former family. We love you guys so much. So. Yeah, we do. They're like they're like our family. So Beautiful. We're all one big family. So shout out to Sandra and the kids. Um, Brian was a good dude. All right, um, I've got one more. I've got one more. Bima. So oh. everyone knows our intro music. Now that wouldn't be possible was without our man Bima. Now we might know Bima from. Beast? He might be the bloke when you're if you're dancing sweating your at- face off. King at Street, Argyle or at King Street, Cambridge, and you look up at the DJ and you see a scucks a young scuck, man, a scucky, wearing. Scucks. He's got he's got good kit. He he's appreciates his kit. shoes and his kit, and he plays music that makes me very happy. Yeah, and he's the DJ that made our intro. Yes, he's also the bloke that made these shirts that we're yes. wearing. Yes, right, and his new brand, I believe it's going to be called Reflections. Reflections. Right? Yeah. And it so kind of has the shirt on that says REF. It's short for Reflection. And we've actually got the Braille that I'm pretty sure means reflection. And on the back of Connors, it says touch sensitive. Now, this is where I like it, where it all joins in together. Touch sensitive, how do you read brow? You touch it. You touch it. Wow. You know what I mean? Holy so it all shit. sort of ties in together. He said- I didn't even think about he that. He said that he was going to do maybe Japanese letters, but he said people have already done that. He said he wants to do something different. He's out there, he's creative. Touch sensitive, he's I love that. He's a local Newcastle fella. It's pretty cool. His, it's very cool. His website is going to launch when you guys hear this it'll be tomorrow it'll be on Wednesday hopefully this does get released Tuesday we just need Connor to just do his part with all that man. and he's a, he's a local Newcastle brand so just jump on the back of him if you're a Newcastle person support your local brands and uh, get yourself some pretty cool shirts because I like them alright on today's show we got a little bit to go through we got Who's Bringing the Vibes, brought to you by Vibe Culture. Everyone knows our sponsor, Vibe Culture. Holy. We're about to get into it. Vibey. Uh, Very we're vibey. starting this new segment, as you guys all would have jumped on and seen, on our social media. Yep. It is called Counseling the Collective. So we really wow. hope you guys enjoy that. We've got KP's uh, Kook of the Week. We've got listener questions again, a little bit something different to relationship questions. 
a little 2021 recap just a short one nothing too crazy top three and then finish with our audience of vice so boys vibe culture right eh? who's bringing the vibe but l- let me just let me just first let's not neglect the vibe culture first croaks can you they go hand in hand can you, it's a, it's a can lifestyle you just, this stuff can you tell me the the discount that they get that just out like our listeners what do they get you know we love working in tens yeah. <laughs> right with tens with 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 tens holy <laughs> with tens in, in I'll tell you what you get yourself true. some vibe culture you might get to work with some tens yes <laughs> cause you'll be you'll be at the top of your game yeah you'll, you'll be, be elite but why Back. you'll be elite why why because this little mix here of Japanese herbs yeah will get you on your feet. It's Japanese, isn't it? Is it really? I it think is. So. It's impressive. Today. <laughs> yes. It's impressive. But the thing I is, I just keep finding out things about vibe. Not only when you're hungover, oh. which is, you do need that. You need to be on your feet. But you, you know, you wake up more early morning, 6 a.m. Yeah. You want to be, you know, a bit buzzy, go for a morning walk. Get out and see the sunrise. Of, you can take that too. Yeah. It's, just, it's not for one lifestyle, it's for no, all. No, it, it does. It accompanies for all. It does. Okay? And especially especially the hung ones. <laughs> especially the hungovers. You are Especially hung. the hungover ones. That's where it gets you. That's where it gets you. Because I'll tell you what else the hungovers does, is it gets your mentals all whack. You feel sorry for yourself. You know you what You do, I mean? mate. It's a mental challenge. This. Clears you up. Does everything. Does everything you want. It'll help you get up and get after it. Yeah. And we love getting after it. And I know our listeners love getting after some discounts too. <laughs> Boom. We just, we're just handing these discount cakes Cha-ching, I heard. Like oh. they're hotcakes. Like they're hotcakes, yeah. right? You want $10 off? Just use the code 257COLLECTIVE. That's 257COLLECTIVE lowercase. Yeah. And I've got one more thing for you. I still can't believe that. But anyway, go on. This bit's the crazy, the craziest thing, You're right? lying bastard. If you grab two or more. Because here's where you get me say the F word. You get free shipping. Oh, mate. Say the F word. Free. 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 You're a free. lying little bastard. That can't be true. It I know. Can't be true. I know. The good the good men at Vibe Culture. Yeah, and, and, and females. And females. And women. Yes. And, and I'm not whatever actually you sure choose to be. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> whatever you choose to be. Whatever. So we, we made a new segment. Because we're sort of running out of using the same joke, so we're going to we're going to turn vibe culture into a new segment, and it's who's bringing the vibe. Now you can pick anyone. You can pick a celebrity, an athlete. You can pick your mate. You can pick a restaurant, even or a place and stuff. Oh, I really that's go such off. a good call, Thanks, bro. I know, but I didn't pick. Just thought about. I didn't pick bistro. One. Okay, bro. I'm going to start. The man that is just bringing the vibes lately for me is a young actor that goes by the name of Timothy oh Chalamet. Oh, my Lord. Wow. Right? Right? <laughs> oh, my Lord. So, the man's just done a movie called June. I believe that's how you pronounce it with Zendaya. And I've seen him at some red carpet events. He's King? a skunk. He's, he's a weird... He's not a weird skunk, but he's a different skunk. I'm weird not saying... Skunks. No, not a weird skunk. Not a weird skunk. Like a pretty... He's super pretty. Yeah. Like a pretty skunk. Yeah. That's he's not unbelievable. weird. And... So I've been going back and watching a couple of his movies, right? Just to sort of, just to get my head around what this bloke is. I rewatched King last night. Oh my God, I was just about to say that movie. Yeah, and so he's got the new one coming out June with Zendaya, as I mentioned. Mm -hmm. He's got one. If you're a fan of sort of watching movies about addiction and people struggle with addiction, watch him in Beautiful Boy. Completely different. It's got Steve Carell in it. Completely different film. Unbelievable. There you go. Connor, who's bringing the vibes for you? That was was nice. Man, that was nice. That That was nice, yeah. Mm. Uh, who's go on all day? You could. Do you love him? You could. Do love him. <laughs> he, like, I've got a little crush on him. Not gonna lie. I, honestly, the man's jawline in King. Is in as King, sharp as, sharp as, that as Japanese mine. steel that we bought you one time. Holy but cut myself. You know that Japanese steel that we bought we you? bought Connor actually, for his. Bit. Actually, I know who did it for me. Did you think it was for me? <laughs> <laughs> see, I thought we did it. For if you could see, which you will... tag, tagged along with so many presidents that he doesn't know, know who, who's so, the final. So for I said anymore. to him, "I will get Texas a present," which is coming in the mail. In case Texas is listening to this, which I don't think he is, but anyway, um, I said. I'll I'll pay for it if you come up with the idea. It comes to me today. Oh, let's get them dunks. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> but they you know how much they are. Like what? Oh yeah, yeah. Let's get them dunks. <laughs> I'll just get them that iTunes gift card. Thousand dollars <laughs> later. Yeah, sweet. Oh, let's just dunker. get them dunks. A dunks a G. No, 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 no. Some. What? Some colors are. What? Let's get them dunks. He reckons. Yeah, Jesus. some colors. We'll get him some rip-off dunks. <laughs> <laughs> the fake ones. <laughs> the fake easies. <laughs> I know who's bringing the vibes for me. Here. I couldn't go past, and I, it's not just been this week. It's been the last couple months, and I, I love this guy, right? Quade Cooper. 
Oh, oh I like right. it. Yeah, right. And yeah. I've, all, I've always had a lot of respect for Quaid. Yep. He's, he's always been like super um, welcoming and always been a good guy for me, right? He's always always been able to, you know, have a chat to him. And um, But I think like the last couple of years of him probably playing rugby here in Australia, I don't know if it was like the media, but they sort of portrayed mm. him out to be like a – or just like a bit of a negative guy. Like yeah. I, I don't really know how to explain yeah, it. Yeah, it's hard. But I think the he way would be good, it would be good to have a chat to him. Well, but he actually was going to come on a while ago. Do you remember? Yeah, he was. Actually, yeah, then, yeah. But COVID, then COVID, COVID hit. hit. Yeah, he was coming to the fight, wasn't he? Yeah, 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 yeah. Fight, yeah. Yeah. So he was he was going to come on this show a couple of months ago, but um, well, but we got some big guests coming up, by the way as well. So holy. Yes, Chris Hemsworth is still uh, replying to our message, <laughs> he's, but he's, he's, he's coming, I'm telling radar. you. He's Chris Hemsworth, we want to know how you fondle that hammer. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a big, it's a big hammer too. I've That's seen it. it, I've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> so Clay, Coopsie. Yes, yeah. yes. So the last couple of months, the way he's played, yeah. right, kicked the winning goal. Did in he? South Africa a couple of weeks ago, which is massive for Australia to beat mm. South Africa. Yeah, Springbok. Yeah, because they're the World Cup champs. They're the yeah, last Springbok, champions. Springbok, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. But also just like um, him as a person, and I think the way he's sort of been able to express himself and show how like far he's developed he's come, in the last yeah. couple of years. Like if you go through any of his Instagram stuff, it's so... So cool. Deep. It's very deep. He's got that deep. mad fashion too. Yeah, oh, he yeah. is. Oh. He's actually. What about him? Yeah, like doing is. running in the designer shirts right. and that. Remember? Remember we looked at <laughs> Full that one vintage. Day? Doing like. the training in the vintage designers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he does. He does like. He loves it. He's that, cool. He is pretty cool. He's I think got, living over there in Japan, he would have. He's got a lot of swagger. Yeah, he would have learnt a lot in terms of fashion over there. Oh yeah. I think he's back. I think he's back working. Um, back over in Japan. That's why he couldn't go on the European tour. Yeah, pretty sure so yeah. he had to he had to pull out of that but yeah. um yeah he's he's bringing the vibe for me kp who's off the back the of vibe? halloween yep on the weekend yep um a lot of famous people they they looked good Ooh. and we love this bloke i like where you're going with this we love this bloke i'll i'll, I'll describe he's young he's from australia his missus is damn fine yeah. <laughs> his missus is damn fine he went as woody and she went as what's the heart the the girl off oh, woody off toy story sorry oh yeah yeah jesse Yep. Yeah, his missus. Like the cow girl. The cow girl. damn yeah, fine. Jesse. Kid Leroy. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I know just know want to I say Hayley, Hayley Bieber too, just as Britney Spears, and she looked... Fine. She looked like a, a, good, a good Britney Spears. Right, they get stuck into it. <laughs> they do, there, yeah. Right? They, they do. They do. They and do. I think he... I had a look. Um, he's touring next year. I just think he's he's killing it. The Kid Leroy? Yeah. I'll, yeah, I'll speak to him and get some tickets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's my family. cousin. It's little my family, cousin. family yeah. discounters. Same mob. Same family mob. discounters. Same mob. Same, same mob. mob. <laughs> Hayley dressed as Britney. Shout out to Britney. She's free now. Yes. Yeah, and yes. she's a big fan of the podcast, actually. I know. She's a, and the thing was, her dad wasn't letting her listen to it. I actually seen... <laughs> I seen Britney Spears live one time. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, it's she's so happy now that she can listen to it. <laughs> holy, that yeah. was... Holy. He deleted her podcast out. <laughs> she couldn't listen to it anyway. Well and done, blocked Britney. blocked her YouTube. Yeah. yeah. But it doesn't matter. Right she now. wouldn't have seen it anyway. We upload it at 3 a.m. Sorry. She's all right. She's all right. <laughs> she's, well, that's morning over there. You know what I mean? As if you're not up at 3 a.m., mate. You know what I mean? <laughs> Obviously, I'll put it up at that time because... Oh, <laughs> wait. Holy hey, hell. Man, that's all the good stuff. Tell us your kook of the week. Yeah, so out on the weekend, just Paint gone. Paint me a picture. Can you paint me a picture? Um, we're sitting around a table out at a pub. Yep. There's about eight people sitting around this table. One of the blokes offers to go get the table drinks. Wow. What a man. Mate. It's a big shout. Well, a big shout. Eight, nine for Ooh. him. Nine what drinks. Nine what drinks. Um, beers. Straight beers. Oh, that's a stiff right to your bank. So account. he's got he's got the tray. <laughs> He's got the tray. He's got the tray. He's walking over. He's making. He's made a little bit of noise as he gets to the table. He's going with the yeah, yeah. Oh. And as he went with the yeah, <laughs> boom, tipped all of them on the ground. Everyone's just. <laughs> what, 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 what are you? Bro, what are you doing? What are you? What are you doing? Um, why are the drinks on the ground? Why are you? Why are you feeding the floor? So apparently, 
I just sort of well, well done, mate. He actually went home after that. He <laughs> took so himself home. He was so embarrassed. He took himself home. I've never seen him. Se- I've never heard of him. I think he's actually left the country. <laughs> he's actually left the country. Oh, that's a good story. Kook, imagine you that. Good. And imagine. The, the fact that he led up. Too. Yeah, he did. Yeah. And, well, and the table kind of did because it was like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's the universe's way of telling you, isn't it? Be, hum- be humble. Isn't it? Be humble. Don't you be a fumble. The five at one time. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be the fake humbles. The fumbles. Oh. <laughs> turn, turn from not humble to fumble real quick. The fumble real quick. Oh. Yeah, Tyson uh, Frizzell's. Oh. Tumbled out of there. Tyson Sorry. Frizzell's. <laughs> That's facts. That's facts. <laughs> All right, boys. Moving on. New segment. Oh. We're gonna we're gonna do it every now and then. We go through ra- relationship problems. <laughs> You don't. You never. You've never been in one. Well, that's your problem. I couldn't say it properly. Uh, he didn't know how to. Yeah. I don't. Relationship. I didn't believe just the words it. that were coming out of my mouth. Uh, Relationship problems, right? But so do our fans and our listeners. Yes. The collective. They go through it. So we thought. Why not get us hooligans on here to counsel you? Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Three. You, well, you used to, you know, we've all been in relationships. It's all good. Especially, <laughs> you've, been, you've been on a tier lately, so. 11-11. I'm sure you could add, add a bit now. Yeah. You know a thing or two now. I don't even think I put a serious question in here. <laughs> uh, yeah, how would Crokes know? That was the first one. Thanks, thanks for that. Thanks for that. Um, <laughs> well, he, well, yeah, he's hosting it. We'll answer the questions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You ask, we'll answer. <laughs> oh, fuck, I hate myself. Uh, <laughs> my girl constantly watches KP highlights. Is she going to leave me? Yes. And what's, what do you do in that situation? Oh. I'll ask Connor first. <laughs> Uh, you get home your missus is watching his highlights <laughs> so you, wa- you walk shit. in the door you walk in the door you turn right and you see KP on the TV on the big screen she's sitting there a little bit of drool coming out the right side of her mouth okay, I'm you, montage. you walk in the door do a, do a yelp big U-turn and walk back out the door <laughs> straight back yeah. out leave your clothes yeah. don't even worry about the clothes just get out of there never return never is that what you're doing yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not yeah so these questions I'm are always anonymous out. I forgot to mention that always anonymous we're never going to mention who asks the question okay just to keep it a bit of, yeah. bit of yeah, privacy no, that's, that's what counsellors do Respectful. that's fair yeah. Yeah. 100%. write them down in your diary you keep it, you keep it private now, actually what do you what do you do in that situation <sighs> okay it's like <laughs> If no, you're I've got mine from 2016, babe, you, you'll never look back. <laughs> Scored like three tries that year. <laughs> get, get the under 20s highlights up. Get my whole match up, babe. I was, I was next player's player. I was next player. Croaks player, player. How yeah. match? That was it. Just to see me. 2016, Croaks, different beast. Different beast. Oh. <laughs> Not this flop. <laughs> no, nah, what you go is just put on 257, then yeah. you see my highlights. Yeah, yeah. I see what Kalen's does on there compared to me. <laughs> oh, nah, that was a bit of a stitch up. Here's a. Could you date a stripper? Connor, what, what is a stripper? <laughs> what is a stripper? <laughs> what is that? What do they do? For all our I didn't I didn't know what one was until um until we're at Surfers Paradise. Yeah, until KP took you to Surfers, that's right. Yeah, I remember that. When we walked Could in and found Croaks there on his Could own. You- <laughs> <laughs> we walked Could straight you- in, Croaks. Croaks the girl sitting- that comes up to him. Oh yeah. Okay. Shut up! <laughs> Shut up, man. You're like- talking that much shit. <laughs> Oh, you can tell when you're still lying there with this because you've never $5 finished. Notes. He, he, he went to the game. Can I get these changed? My four, 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 five dollar notes. I was throwing coins at him. <laughs> my little fifties. I was throwing fifty cent coins at him. Monopoly money. Craig takes a what? What a monopoly money in? I feel like the man. I got the elastic man. <laughs> oh. Boys, could you? Nah, personally no. Personally no. Personally no. I could. It's it's a big it's a big ask. I'm all for choosing your career path, do what makes you happy, whatever, whatever, you know. But I don't know. I no. don't think I could. I'm blatant. No, I don't even want to really yeah. d- dive into it. Yeah. I'm of? just a big no on that. I'm, I'm not a I'm not a straight bat. No, I'm not a straight no either. It just has to depend on like what uh, what the person was like and like your connection yeah. with them. If you could trust, like really trust trust the them, person, because yeah. obviously being in that. Industry. Your eyes are looking gorgeous today. I'm just going to mention you. that off the bat. You sure, right, go on. Holy yeah, shit! Okay. Holy shit I don't know what it is. You just caught me. You just caught me in the moment. Sorry. Um, yeah. It, <laughs> if if um. <laughs> Someone start counselling me. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about shoes. He just kind of, oh, I love you. Is that what you said? Go on, go on. No, go I was just going to say like, because um, being in that industry, there's obviously a lot of a male attention yeah. that, that comes with it. Um, but I mean, 
I'd probably have a hard time introducing um, the her, mom to, would say, her yeah. to my mum and be like, yeah, mum, hey, just so you know, no. she's a stripper. Mumsy is a uh, big counter- make or break. She's the big counterpart, isn't it? That's yeah. the biggest Especially hurdle to get over. Especially the three of us. The yeah. three of us the are make or break boys. is the mum's ticket for approval. Yeah. yeah. It is. It really is. It is. It is. All right. This one, I know they use... Uh, no, sorry. Sorry. How do I tell my co-workers that I'm seeing another co-worker? Ooh. Oh, it depends on the industry because in some you can't do that. So I think it, it really depends on a few things. I actually think in most you can do it now. You if can? you declare it. I think if you declare it. What do, what, okay. Well, like what do you have to do? Write it down write, on a piece yeah, of paper? Yeah, yeah. That's literally what you have to do. Um, True. How do you... I think you just have to do that. I think you just... Well, yeah. Love's love. If it's a little... Write that letter. Yeah. Write I that note. I, yeah, be, Send an email. Be honest. That's yeah. what you're going with? Yeah. Be, just, well, I just reckon. Tell them because yeah. like, if you love someone... So you don't have to hide it. You shouldn't have to hide it. Facts. Factual evidence. Factual evidence. What about you, Chris? What do you reckon? I reckon, yeah, roll with it. Surely they can't can't stop love. It just depends. Yeah. Can't stop love. Just prepared not to have a job, but that's sweet. (laughs) 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 Reckon or no? (laughs) Or one of them, you quit and get get another job, and then you don't have to worry about it. I don't know. These are just advice. I don't know. If you're not going to lose your job over it. I don't think you can these days. Yeah. Well, I know like... Just for example, I don't think, um, like, say, for, like, a Knights player couldn't get with a Knights cheerleader. Like, yeah. Or, an, or a staff member. Yeah, we'll, or see, a staff. we'll see, I think, if it was serious, I think you could. Ooh. I think you're allowed to. I think you, de- you can declare it. Do you know that? Can- I, I think you can. Well, I think the easy option is for one of them to quit. You go to a different job and then you don't have to go through this process. Yeah. Well, I've got another job related one. Okay. Oh, I'm not going to say who writes in. They wrote in, as we said before, all anonymous. Secret safe with me. I'm the only one who sees them. Um, she said, I broke up with my ex. Six months later, I found out that he applied at the same job that I work at. Now we work together and I know one of the girls at the job has a crush on him. What do I do? Boys, that's that sucks. That's there's a few things you have to think about. How, why did you break up? How was the breakup? Are you still friends? There's a lot of things to unpack, but just face value, it's a sticky situation. It is very sticky. Very you're seeing yourself, you're seeing each other every day, and you know that this is she a friend? This yeah, coworker? That, that's, a, that's another important thing. Yeah, or is she just a coworker? If she's just Does a she, coworker, then I mean, she doesn't really have any. Allegiances to you? Yeah, yes. so her, no her, ties, no ties. Her um, being very infatuated by your your boyfriend is actually okay. I would say a crush. Do you reckon? Yeah, I think I, I think it depends on a sweet. few things. Do you reckon it's sweet Only for, for the other girl or bit, for this girl? Things I reckon's a bit weird is if the boyfriend was doing it to get back. Yeah, wow, See? which happens? I'm thinking toxic. Well, that's why I'm well, thinking. Why would he apply? You know, when you toxic, I want to. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. you know when you try and catch a shit. What? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. What? <laughs> Isn't that a song? Isn't that a song or something? I don't know. <laughs> toxic. Britney tic- Spears has a TikTok or something. Britney Spears has a song called Toxic. Um, she can listen to this now. It's, a good it's not toxic. I don't want it. Isn't that a TikTok? I'm not um, so what, what advice are we giving to this, to this uh, young lady? Well, I would, I would, I would uh, find out why the boyfriend applied at the job. Yeah, wow, that's key. Right. Right. Yep, and then I would find out if it's a little serious thing between that coworker. If you know, you know, what, what do you want out of it? You know, that's yeah. what I'd be finding out. So you'd sit and her then, down, and then if the boyfriend said it was a good opportunity, good job, I'd say, all right, fair enough. Can't Sabotage her job. I say I can't stop you from working. <laughs> so, then, so she's not working there. <laughs> Get back with the boyfriend. Nah, win <laughs> win. <laughs> Toxic. You got to talk to him. Yeah. You got to talk, talk to him. him, and just be like, um, just be honest with him, and just say like, I don't really feel comfortable with that. You. You're. Oh. That you're like if if they're seeing each other at work, yeah. but she can't really say anything to the other girl because yeah, 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 yeah. if they're just co-workers, they're just co-workers. Yeah, facts. facts. Mm. All right, but, boys. Last one. Sex on the first date. I'm asking, I'm asking you, boys. Holy so shit! Yes or no question. Yes or no? Yes or no answer, boys. Yes or no? Connor. It depends. Three. It depends. Three, two, two one. Yes. Maybe. Connor, uh, KP, KP. I think maybe yes. is the key. Yeah. Yeah. It dep- there's, uh, yes. It's no. A bit of fence sitting. Exactly. I, I You're a massive fence sitter. I'm a massive does fence sitter. I'm happy matter. not to. It's it's not like a. I, have to I don't have. think it's a bad thing anyway. I ha- no, if it happens, she, it happens. She, I respect her. Backing herself. Yeah, or whatever you know. I res- respect her. Yeah. Respect. Respect her. is big. All right. Respect. That was our first week. 
counselling the collective. I reckon we did really well. I think we did all right. We, we ruined a few jobs. <laughs> we we ruined um, a couple jobs. We got exes back together. Brought up some, um, toxic, some toxic traits. Gave some advice on you know what what's good. Maybe don't follow these advi- yeah. these things. I don't know. Yeah, yeah it's not. Prof- it's, this is not professional help, mind you. <laughs> and then in, in I told like, you that I like I had a good 2016 year in footy. Yeah, yeah. So go watch them in two two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. Write in and tell us how you've gone. Yeah, yeah. that that's good too. That'd be good. Yeah, mm. let us know how you went. So I couldn't get to all of them. Just one man. Anyway, 2021 recap. We're gonna do. <laughs> we're gonna do a little something here, boys. A little something different. Favorite moment of 2021. Yep. Uh, yep. Um, Caitlin? Okay. Let me just. I'm just getting this. Sorry. 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 Okay, um, favorite moment is pretty hard. It's pretty hard for me. Yeah. You look at. You look across the whole year. Obviously, what's fresh in mind is Burley, and I think that experience itself was the highlight in one sense. Yeah, yeah. But if you look at the beginning of the year, um, I had to go through a lot of hard work to get to a point, and after the game three of Origin, that was probably a realization for me, and it. That was a happy moment for me. So, holy COVID. Are you I'm coughing? So sorry. Are you coughing? I'm so sorry. I was, that's, I a to COVID co- I to cough. <laughs> that's a COVID cough. That's a COVID cough. Keep going on with it. Keep going. Yeah. I, I game should. three, um, Origin. After that game, uh, realization hit me and I was I was really happy. So, there's, there's two moments, I guess. So, sorry. Connor? I think probably getting through the whole year and playing every game. You did play every game? Yep. That's pretty good. Like well, as far as a footy thing goes. And then, yeah, probably... Burley was just so good. Burley was so much fun. So good. Well, we've all got footy related ones because my one was my debut. Yeah. So there's oh, you can't go past that. You can't. Can, go, that's yeah. can I t- moment of life. You can't go past it. Boys, what have you learned from 2021? Um, give me a first. What do you got? Um, I learned to be to appreciate the present and the past. They go hand in hand. I know. I, I look at my year. Um, and I had some tough times, but I appreciate those times now. And I think mm. we've got to be more appreciative of what's now as well. Um, learned that, and I learned you don't need a lot of things in life to be happy. Um, simplify things, and, and it'll clear your mind, and then that makes you happy. Connor, uh, I I would think that probably having no expectations, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So don't expect anything. Just um, and then like everything good that happens is like like you just love it because you weren't expecting anything to happen so nothing falls short of your expectations and just be versatile like I think the last two years has showed um, with COVID just be versatile and just adapt to things and that's probably coming back to don't expect like have expectations of things because you just don't know what the the universe is going to deliver because the last the last couple of years has just been so different and all over the shop and you know people thought they had like safe jobs and that they've lost jobs and now they've had to adapt and overcome that and um yeah i just think and then also don't take anything for granted because like little little three-piece because three-piece combo is that from kfc yo 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 wicked wings guys (laughs) wicked wings yo (laughs) (laughs) croaks uh or a little two-piecer oh the mac is yeah a little two burgers little two two double um, cheese i got i reckon um like there's a lot of choices you got like throughout your life i reckon yeah. and i reckon just if yeah if you could choose to be happy or sad i reckon always choose to be happy so that's what i do there sad, <laughs> if you're sitting there a bit sad just know that you can be happy so just i can always just choose that mm. rather than sitting around feeling bad like just choose to be a bit more happy i reckon yeah yeah and then yeah. i reckon it's the little things yeah it's the little things man the going home things, and seeing man. family sitting down having a nice meal outside or something like that that got taken away from us for a long time a lot of people didn't get to see their families and whatnot so i reckon just them little things enjoy start, yeah start appreciating just the little the little tiny things you know seeing yep. your mates sitting down for a coffee stuff like that it's just a little it's just go for a walk little. in the morning little things exactly, exactly. worst moment of 2021 yeah do I, I'll, um, I'll kick off um there was a period in my rehab um it was around origin period where it was just a big mishap in communication between myself, the club, um, and Origin. And I wasn't really supposed to go to Brisbane, I think it was at the time, to get a screening, blah, blah, blah. I come back, I strained my calf, which put my rehab a little bit behind. All these sort of things were adding a lot of stress. Um, I reckon that was genuinely the, the worst moment for me this year. Like That was probably a time where I was at my lowest, um, just with everything that was bottling up. But then... Um, yeah, like I said before, the best moment come of that because 
I was such a in such a hole that when I played Origin three and realised that I was you know a good player blah 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 that's when it sort of hit me. Connor, um, this is hard because I, I don't really feel like I've had any like super bad moments. Um, I probably think in the last week like Brian's passing was was terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was course. sad. Um, and I think probably like telling you guys I was leaving. Like actually, like that was that's actually, probably the yeah, toughest that was thing tough. I've, I've had to do. It was hard. Um, yeah, but other than that, like to be honest, I've just ha- sort of I've had a really good year. I've enjoyed it. Like, mm. yeah, yeah. It's just be- it's oh, I can't really say too much. Yeah. When you told it's us so you're weird. leaving, that was hard. Yeah. That yeah, was, no, it was really that hard. Was rough mm. on that phone call. The three of us, say. Yeah. Mm. How many people would have known before that? You reckon? Mumsy. Mum, Dad. That's probably it. Yeah. That was that was tough. Oh, um, yeah. R- the roosters. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Uncle, Uncle Trent. Uncle Trent. <laughs> Mine would be when you all went to Sunny Coast. I didn't go. Yeah. That was that was rough on me. That was rough. Yeah, I I'd felt worked, for you. I'd worked heaps heaps hard to get back into being full time and then I was finally full time and it was just like fucking another kick in the guts yeah here you go son and you just debuted too yeah I'd like I debuted a couple of weeks before yeah probably about five weeks before it and then I played the rabbits and then we played our it was like everything just was building it was so good I was just on this fucking pinnacle and then I played the rabbits sorry what did I say the roosters we played the rabbits second game then I had to go back play one game of cup then they cancelled cup well they postponed it and I was like oh no shit's looking grim again next thing I know you boys are flying out the sunny coast and I was staying here in a state that was just about to go into lockdown mm, actually yeah. no I tell you what was tough bro when I had to quarantine that was hard mm. that was really hard the only light at the end of the tunnel was that I got to see you boys but and that's- while I was in there I'm being serious that's hard yeah it, like I was yeah. making jokes that I was like it was eat but it was very tough mm. mentally you're sitting there in your own thoughts oh. and you just start driving yourself <sighs> mad day 10 day 11 they call them the hump oh that was so hard man proper like laying in bed just going I hate this I, yeah. don't, I don't even want to do it I'd rather go home right now rather than wait it out another three days that's where my head was at I was like oh, I could just jump on a plane go back to New South Wales I was like I'm over this Yeah, that was pretty hard that was and probably, then look at it and Boom. now that they're there yeah. aren't you glad you stayed matey boy goals for 2022 Connor um, I've got a few I'm not going to say all of them no, um, you're right, mate. a few of them are private but I think um, it's becoming a better version of myself again like keep keep working at the things that sort of worked for me this year um, and just be consistent with my footy and um, obviously like there's goals like I want to win a comp I'd love to play state of origin all of those things but I think just becoming a better person and um, yeah really just working on my craft focusing in on that and um, I'm looking forward to it I'm going to do the same mate I'm just going to keep it real simple I just want to continue to be a happy fella love that yeah, love that makes me, so nice makes me enjoy life KP same be present be clear um, footy wise play all games haven't had a season where I've played every single game it's tough to do I know yeah, um, but I'd love to do that be consistent and then yeah win a, comp, win a series um, yeah I think that's probably the main ones well done boys this is a little 2021 recap for everyone even though it's not done some deeps we got, we still, got, still a bit of time left. some deeps in there yeah there's some deeps that's what we I like, like to do I mean, I we like to switch it. it up every now and then I love it let them know that we're all not all jokers we're not all jokers <laughs> but we're about to start joking we're not larrikins. we're about to start being dickheads proper alright listener questions <laughs> wow ready how do we handle so this is this bloke I can't remember who it was but he wanted to know how do we handle someone one of our mates who doesn't shout beers how do you so handle text. that? How do you handle that? <laughs> no, yeah, text is actually pretty good. <laughs> yeah, um, who is bad? If we had to name someone. You don't have to name someone. I'm just saying, how oh, would you okay, handle it? I thought it? it'd be funny too. But how would you handle <laughs> um, Crooks. Uh, <laughs> Shut up. You know. I was um, to- how would you handle that? You probably just wouldn't. Spray him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just stuck into it. Yeah. yeah. You know just- what they call that? Whisperer. Never shout. Ah. ah. That's what they used to call. Um, yeah, call them out. Whose bar did they? Whose bar was that? Whispers. Yeah. Um, was that Bedsy's? Uh, that was like yeah. Bedsy and Newsies. They called other things whispers and all this sort of stuff. 
Because no one come and shout. Because you always got free beers there. That's why. Yeah. They call it. Yeah, right, um, right, 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 right. yeah. I reckon just say some. And if he if he's off it, then don't buy him a beer. Yeah. You can buy his own. Yeah. Just get in a shout with someone else. Yeah. yeah. Brush it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully brush someone it. that's not a grouse drinker. <laughs> like when I get in the shout, it was the saps. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah. Maggot. I was even feeling that with like Kalen a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. I was yeah, just drinking them like they were going out of fashion. Yeah. Our tolerance. <laughs> but they're still making them, mate. They're still making them, I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah. They're still no, making them. It's like they're going out of fashion, but they're no, actually, no, they're still there. believe it or not, they're, 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 not, there. they're not going out of fashion. i tried my best, mate. <laughs> We've just gone through the roof, actually. Um, anyway, HSC yeah. advice for all the people. We've got a lot of 18-year-old sort of listeners. Mm. A lot of them are starting their HSC. It's been a rough year for them. Did you finish your HSC? Did you do a HSC? Is it, do they do that in... Nah, it's no, called something else yeah. in Queensland. Oh, true. Yeah, I'm sorry, different. mate. I, I'm sorry. I didn't know you did But you know. get like a... Is it an OP? Do you want some advice from me? <laughs> you get an OP, KP? Preparation is key. Yeah. Okay? I want you to prepare. <laughs> I want you to put in the work to get the... Do the mahi to get the treats. <laughs> okay? I want you to sit down, friends, tutors, <laughs> mum, dad, yourself, and work. Mm. Connor? It's along the lines of that. It would just be like have a um, have a routine and schedule, because that will help you get your work done. That was the biggest thing for me. I like I was not great at school, but I knew if I actually like wrote, I used to write in my diary times that I had to work and all yep. different stuff. And then it was a good. It's one of the great feelings crossing out things in your diary. Oh, you mate, I got a to do list. Got exactly. Scribbled out. And how good does it feel when you're best, scribbling those things best. out? Uh, but then. Like don't also don't sh- like stress too much. That's I know ex- it's a that, yeah. I know it's a big big time in your life, but at the end of the day, you know that score that you get, the marks, whatever it is, it doesn't define you. And I mean, you can like a lot of it people. Doesn't. A lot well, of people go to, go to yeah. uni and then don't even do what they studied at uni. So, so yeah, you'd like you'll Factuals. eventually work out what you want to do in your life. Life experience is worth more than um, studying. And I was going to say the same out. thing. I wasn't even going to say rip in put your head down i was just gonna yeah. say don't stress don't stress all but you gotta do you know i never checked but my but try i never you checked street. i never Treats. checked my eta ever i don't know what i got i was <laughs> working i was working yeah probably <laughs> well i know i didn't do good enough to get into the uni course i wanted so i'll take never that checked. yeah take that as a right kick to the face anyway is connor's girl taller than him next question oh is she taller <laughs> is she be honest bare be feet. honest bare, bare, bare feet, feet. Both bare feet. Bare feet. Nah. Do you want to do you want to rethink she's that? She's close. Uh, she's close. She's not but with heels on too, you know. I've got it. Just. Yeah. Just. With your Balenciagas? Nah, just proper little, just. These little these little, like, little, 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 little Converse's. Remember the Ray-Bans? Remember the shit everywhere. It's this much. There's there's an inch there's in not, it. Yeah, yeah, there's an inch in it. Shame if she had a gross spurt. <laughs> <laughs> this this question always gets asked, right? This question always gets asked, but I answer it every week. Because people aren't listening. Is the podcast going to continue? Yes, it is. Even though, Con- even though Connor is moving. If, if you guys ask this question so much, you mustn't be listening to the latest episode. Because every episode we mention that it's continuing. It is going ahead. Yeah. Just please. Stop fucking stop asking me. Doing my head that's, in. All, that's it. That's it. Boys, best part of your weekend? Everyone yeah. wants to know. What, what weekend? Um, the one you just had with your missus. Oh. Boys, probably just spending quality time with yeah. someone I care about. Yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah getting to know her more. She's um, yes. she's actually a beast. If I'm being honest, no both, cap. Both are really nice girls. A bit like onions. Yeah. <laughs> like you, croaks. Oh, just yeah. keep peeling back oh, the layers. I am a big, big onion. I got a lot to me. Boys, I don't know if you've seen this round one. What was the best of your weekend, mate? With my your girlfriend. No, I wasn't with my girlfriend. I was back home. Oh, well, grinding well. on the tools. Did you have a Did you have a nice weekend? Did you, yeah, I did. What was actually. the best moment? The best point? moment yep. was we'd been working all day. I worked at my parents' house. Was doing renovations for them. Sad day, Arvo. We all sat outside. My mum, my dad, my little sister. Beer. Uh, no, I didn't have a beer. Oh. I probably just had a can of Coke. Yep. Yeah, I mean, people have been sending me screen, like photos of the big cans fella. of Coke saying Holy. like, oh, yeah, Stop bet it. you you want one, you fat dog. That's what they've been calling you. <laughs> 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 Get out of I just want to show no. people the stomach. No, no, no. You've been no, working no, on it. Yeah, no, I've been growing abs, no, abs. no, not yet. Um, but, and we're sitting out there and there was a really nice sunset and because we're on the farm, no neighbours, no nothing, sitting outside. That's beautiful. Yeah. That was that's my favourite moment man. of the weekend. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Sunday was pretty good too. Boys, I don't know if you've seen round one. 
It's been released that Roosters are versus Knights. Round one. Holy, we're going to have a team for six weeks. throws <laughs> the first punch? Everyone wants to fucking know. I would, know but he'd be on the bench, so I can't. <laughs> oh, um, yeah. yeah. I don't Who know. are the Bears versus that weekend? <laughs> <laughs> He's a good A. That's right. I'll just let my um, feet do the talking, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> See you smiling after. Um, uh, who throws the first punch, boys? Oh, if you come together. Probably, yeah, probably, yeah, probably David Barney, Clemmer. Me, hopefully could, Barnes. If I could pick anyone, it'd be David Clemmer. He'll, yeah. he'll, he'll throw a punch at me. Barney, uh, Barney won't. Me and Barney are... He's a boys. tight, he's a tight. Boys. But I would like him to because he can brawl. Yes. Yeah, I would I like do. him. If, hopefully he does that. If we're getting into a blue, Barney, come with him. Um, two more to go, boys. Someone wanted to know, I thought it was a cool question, the best memories from our debuts. I'm going to start off. I'll give you a bit of time to think about it. My debut was Old Boys Day in Newcastle. It was through that little patch where there was no COVID. So you allowed as many as you wanted at the stadium. There was 28,500 people there. And we had all the old boys lined up in this tunnel. And a real cool moment was when we ran out, they were all sort of smacking our asses, but we couldn't see anything. Remember, Connie, how tight they were? Felt good to it. Right, yeah. <laughs> little, little ass slap. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> yeah, I was <laughs> <laughs> almost twerking while I'm running. <laughs> um, but, like, we could, we proper couldn't see anything because they were so tight. Mm. And we sort of had our heads down because they were slapping us. And then as we come out of this tunnel, it was that good, bro. And the atmosphere was off its guts. Mm. It was so it was cool. buzzing that And then remember, we sat down because we were on the bench together. And you said to me and Johnsy, it was me, you, Johnsy, and King. Mm, mm. And I remember you had this cup of like pre-workout or something. And he said, soak this in, boys. This is pretty cool. And I remember sitting there next to Johnsy and King was on the bike. I was like, these are two of my best mates. And Connor's here, probably one of my best mates. Go and soak this in. I thought that was pretty cool. That's what I remembered. Then we went out and got bought by, beat by 40. <laughs> not, not the best memory. Holy heck yeah. <laughs> not the best. Boys. Just wipe that from What about you? Yeah, yeah, I only remember the start, never, not the finish. I think um, for me, it would have just been like, bro, they, they had a few buses and that come from Avoca. So like when I was running on, because this is back at old Allianz yeah 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 and yeah. Um, it was a Monday night wet oh. so you know like back back then the Roosters weren't getting that big a crowd nah, nah. so wet Monday night game no don't way. know how many people yeah. were there 11 team yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 11 team people <laughs> 11 team actuals and all of them were my family <laughs> yeah but like they were just so so loud when I um when I First ran on. Right. No, that, that was probably the best thing, just having all my family and friends there. That would have been hectic. KP? Um, actual in the game, I think, so we kicked off and their first set, Benny Hunt tries to crack a 40-20, oh, almost yeah. gets it. <laughs> That's when I was like, okay, shit, I'm Did here. Did you save it? No, no, it didn't, it come we short. Played, you were playing centre. Were you I playing centre or no, wing? I was playing you wing. We were playing wing. I was playing ring, uh, yeah, <laughs> wing. Yeah, John, okay. Jono was my half oh, and during the cool. game, he's telling me to go in. It's fourth tackle. Do you want me to go back? <laughs> do you want me to go back or nah? <laughs> I've just made three in a row. Do you want me to go do back? Do you want me to go do back or nah? <laughs> like, it's fifth, bro, the next one. Do you want me back there or you go? Unky, Unky John John, you go back. Back. I'm 18. You go back. Um, Were you 18 or younger? I was 18. 18. You were 18. 18. So the so rule was there that you had to be 18. Yeah. I was uh, semi final. I, I found I out know. the night before. Against, yeah, against Bronx. The day before I found out at Captain's Run because it was between me and Tao. And Tao Mogas. Yeah, Tao. Oh, between who was going to play. And yeah, I, was, I, I don't know why he picked me. I was yeah. 82 kilos, but I was very grateful. 82 um, kegs? That's what you're weighing now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On the wing. Oi, yeah, oi, Unky, you, you go back. <laughs> you go back. 82 kegs. Yeah. Remember you did the bank, the left, the left, the that right, run, the hey, little, the little in behind. And that, it was a bloody. Yeah. Uh, I thought you were going to score. Who'd you go in behind? Um, you ran behind one of your own players. Yes, Cootie. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cootie. Get out of the way. I know. Oh, fuck, get out of this. The old knees Keep weren't winning. working as well. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Come. No, nah, yeah, so this is an awesome experience. Uh, last one. One of the bros wants to know Am I ever going to be put in the podcast photo? Mm hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. we got big things, remember? Yeah, we do. Holy, holy, like the Instagram follow. 30, 30 episodes. <laughs> we got the Instagram follow. 30 episodes have been doing this, fellas. Oh, we got some massive <laughs> things, bro, straight up. I'm telling but, you. Yeah, everyone. But we posted on our story once, didn't we? Yeah. We did, yeah. Everyone's we did seen. a photo shoot about six months for it. Six yeah. months ago for it, yeah. It took six months. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Photo's still loading. <laughs> well, nah, we are. We are. We've got the photo there. I don't know. 
Yeah, we need I to just know, put yeah. it up. You just, uh, yeah, you just must care You've got the follow there too, too but we just uh, <laughs> we've got big things. CBFA. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's hard to do. Like just tap it. It's tough. It's tough. Uh, it's tough. Uh, all right, boys. Listen, you are going through a bit of a. I wouldn't call it a breakup. I would call it a separation, right? I would call it. I would call it departures. I would call <laughs> keep going, keep calling it. What else would you call it? I don't know. Leaving. Yo, what are you going uh, through? Not existing. <laughs> <laughs> Never has happened. Um, oh, it's a cheap laugh, but it works, doesn't it? Um, every time. What we so what our top three is this week? As we always do our top threes, we're doing the best breakup songs. But as you all know, this is the same joke that gets recycled every fucking week that I've never had a missus so I went to my I went to my best source my brother Bailey Hillier my best one of my best mates who's a very Jeez, he'd have some good he's a very, he wasn't good enough for his you know, you know I asked you break up with him because he wasn't good enough you know I asked him right I asked him this will morning be deep. I asked him this morning I said mate can you give me your best three breakup songs I like mentioning you on the podcast whatever he goes yeah sweet he sends me five and he goes tell him I've got heaps more I'm a big fan of listening to sad songs when I'm sad <laughs> I got my list off Eli McCulloch would know him did you really yeah I got my list off him he's you know when he went through a breakup every day he'd come over and he'd put sad songs on and sing them yeah so he did too Eli it's good to see you um, nice back voice. out there mate nice voice yeah. I actually can sing yeah, yeah, yeah actually can, can. so can it's sing. good to see you back Eli you were gone for a bit there but it's good to see you mate anyway Bailey's top three ah number one the fray over my head oh my god over my head <laughs> that's a that's a really nice song. At number two, he's got "Jealous" by Labyrinth. Oh, how did I forget this one? <laughs> Tim Bailey. Me, there's nothing to forgive, but I always thought you'd come back. Tell me, all you found was. Oh, heartbreaking that misery. would make him feel like he's not good enough it's <laughs> hard for me to say and at number one he's got Marvin Maroon right? oh, oh yeah that's I'm just saying you can do better <laughs> what's that crying how when Drizzy's in his feels like oh, that's one of those um, songs that yeah put on when you just pull up outside yeah, your house yeah, 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 yeah. and you, you just, just sit there, there. If, if that there. started about 30 seconds before you pulled up you sit there you, you, sit you there. don't get out you sit there I'm just Connor, saying number three you can number do three better. I believe it's actually the same song yes I've it just, is I've just got a different part for you you're welcome you can do better and I'll start hating on you I think I'm addicted to naked pictures and sitting talking about bitches that we almost had. That was pretty good. I, I, did I don't that think I'm good. conscious of making fun. monsters out of the women I sponsor till it all. No. Jeez, that's a nice song. You know, um, right, number two, mate. You know, Zach uh, Wolford? Yeah, yeah, Germ? Yeah, 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 yeah. Little, little Germ? Yeah, 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 yeah. um, he used to see this girl and they used to call her um, Marvin's Room because, like, the first time they um, <laughs> they stopped seeing each other, they reckon he used to always just play Marvin's Room because he's so rattled by it. And then so he started saying it again and all the boys are like, how's Marvin's Room going? <laughs> Poor bugger, he's a good man too, Jim. He At is, number two, what do you got? Someone like you, Adele. Yeah. Oh. Have you seen Adele lately? Oh, she is oh, on. Holy. She was always beautiful. Oh, yes. Power always. to the people. But her <laughs> lately. <laughs> <laughs> Power to the people. Power to the people. What's the <laughs> but her, but oh. her, she is on a different do level. You, do you remember when she got skinny butt and people were. Off her. Off her. Off her. For being skinny. Like, yeah, sorry, sorry for, for getting being after her. Sorry for positive, having yeah. a bit of yeah. vibe in the morning sorry, and getting I'm after her. Filthy at her for yeah. doing it. Oh, yeah, that's not sweet. She wants to be jealousy, green-eyed monster. That is. That's, that's what, what we call, they that. call that. That is what they call it. And this one's a classic. Rihanna, stay. Makes me feel like I can't live without you. It takes me all the way. I want you to stay. A little piano. You know I can play that on piano. 
<laughs> almost had you. Hey, almost had hey, you. See how I actually I know this yeah. no, 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 because, no, 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 because no, because when I looked at you, you did a little smile. You went. I laughed. I laughed. Yeah, because <laughs> for a split second there, he believes it, and then you go, because oh, you know I've got you. That one. Um, that's the film clip when she's in the bath, correct? Oh, I believe so. Wow. Yeah. Do yourself a favour. Go watch yeah. that film clip. <laughs> Go watch, yeah. If you're sad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or if you're... Or if you're happy. Horny. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy. I was joking, obviously. I was obviously joking. KP, at number three, what do you got? <laughs> what do you got? Driver's Licence. Driver's oh. Licence. Olivia Rodrigo? Olivia Rodrigo, shit. Yeah. Oh, Some lady walking outside. <laughs> Stop! Stop! <laughs> Ladies were walking past outside, just watching this. I would have happily yeah. got a um a YouTube ban for just playing the length of yeah. those songs. <laughs> and just sitting would happily be sued. Um, would happily be sued. Next one's Let Her Go. Who's, who sings that? Oh, <laughs> let, let it go or let her go. Let it goes by James James Bay. James Bay. Yeah. <laughs> That's a oh nice song, mate. What a voice on the man, but if you know what I'm saying, if you know what I'm saying. And at number one, mate, what do you got? Let her, let her go, mate. By Passenger. But you only need the light when it's burning low. Only need the sun when it starts to snow. Only know you love her when you let her go. Only know you can have. <laughs> oh, it's come good. back. It's Don't good, leave me. It's good to cry, boys. Come it back. really is. It really is good to cry. It is. We're going to wrap the show up real quick. Just a little bit of audience advice. My one is support your local brands wherever you are. Wherever you are. I love that. Support people that are trying to do better. If you're up in any, if you're anywhere, you know, if you're around Newey, there's a couple of guys killing it, the bandwagon boys. Yeah. There's B Mart, as we've talked about. There's even film guys like Kim Tiger making films, little short films. Jay Nelson killing Jay it. Jay Nelson still. killing it. Just as always. I, I could rattle it on for days. Support your local brands, even local cafes, you know, Big's Coffee. Go support joints like that. Get around them wherever Lords. you are. And that's, yeah, Lord, sorry. Sorry. Yeah. sorry I sorry, say that as mine. The is Lord's that bad? Collective. Nah. The Lord's Collective. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I was rattling them off not, too Not quick. the Lord's Collective, but Lord's Yeah, Lord's itself. itself. Lord's itself. So just get the around. The barn. The barn. The barn. Wherever you are. Just, just Adamstown Bowling up. Club. Oh, get down there if you're holy in Holy hell. Get down there. Holy. That place is going to go off its knackers during summertime. KP, what's your audience advice? You go next, Connor. I'm going to end on um, a little one. My mum said this to me the other day. Sometime in the future, today's in the past. Sometime in the future. Yeah, you're right. Today's in the past. Yeah. Just sometime in not the too sure what it means, but it's can just you saying, elaborate like, on it? Don't, don't stress too much about what's happening right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Because oh. you're going to be like a little bit down the track soon and you'll have just forgotten what was stressing you about Have today. you ever heard the saying... Yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, today is a gift. That's why it's called the present. Yes. Yeah, I love it. I love that one. That was my one that I was just about no. to say. <laughs> that was, how did you, how did you do that? Well, I'll tell you what, since you've forgotten audience advice, you can wrap the show up. Well, my advice is to Please. like, comment, subscribe. Make love to the Ooh. button. Make love to that button. Not your relatives. And not if, like last week. Oh, yeah, no, don't, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Holy. Um, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, that's my advice for this week. Guys. Once again, thanks, thanks for listening. Thank you so much. Bye. Love you.